So here we have Miss Glenda, who has joined us here at the uh, Siamese Rescue Center in Virginia. She came from a great foster mom, Carol, in Maryland, and we moved her here because she needs some dental work. And uh, our, our prices and ability, availability, a little bit easier to get it done here. So she's all, not even been here 24 hours. Um, I'm delighted to see her settling in very quickly playing with this banana. Um, this is a very good sign of a very well-adapted cat. Uh, Carol's done a marvelous job with her. She was given up originally um, by an owner who I, I guess couldn't keep her, went to somebody else. Uh, she wasn't 100% in the litter box. Um, so she came to Carol and then to me. So she had a lot of changes um, in her life. Um, she needs uh, a bunch of extractions in her mouth, so that's probably causing her a little bit of irritation, so we'll get that done. Um, we're going to go ahead and get a full blood panel, thyroid check, and everything done as well on her, um, so that if you adopt her, she's got tons and tons of medical work behind her, and you know exactly um, her status. She appears to be in great shape, uh, beautiful soft fur, good body condition, um, so I'm not expecting any concerns but it's always nice to have that baseline. Uh, as far as personality goes, very strong personality. This is the seal female for you. Um, very outgoing, opinionated, uh, vocal, talkative, determined, uh, a little moody, a uh, little bit of pizzazz in her personality. Um, so she should go to a person who has experience with that and who likes that in the Siamese girls. You see it um, mostly in the girls, you see it often in the seals, and they do want to be the only cat. Uh, they love to share their people, but they rule their people kind of with an iron paw, so um, again, they have very strong personalities, um, but they're great. Very, very smart. <laughs> um, you know, she's going to get that banana. Um, and very outgoing, uh, very opinionated, very uh, goofy, a uh, lot of fun, but again, you've got to enjoy it, um, and you've got to be experienced with it, I think. I think this type of gal is sometimes the cat that gives Siamese a rough name with some people because they can be a little intimidating if you're not, if, you know, if you're not expecting this, um, if you're used to the male goofy, lovey-dovey personality, that's not what you get with the seal female. Um, so yes, I'm talking about you. Um, so no small kids, doesn't like dogs, wants to be the only cat, will be plenty of cat for you. Um, will, you know, you're going to have to let her adjust at her uh, own speed. Um, she's going to give you lots of laughs, lots of entertainment. This is cracking me up with this banana. I think she thinks it's um, alive and going to pounce on her the way she's kind of batting at it. Um, and uh, she will be ready to go as soon as we have this dental done. Um, so if you're interested, you should have plenty of time to give her, a, to j adjust. You should also be home enough. Certainly you can be a working person, but not someone who's just always gone, traveling, big social life, etc. Uh, I think the biggest key is that you have a, a strong, confident personality yourself because she um, could easily sort of overcome you if you're, you know, too quiet and, and soft-spoken um, and that you have some experience with SEAL female divas and you love it. Um, it's, it's an experience like none other and it's a great one if that's what you like.